Uh, we started off pretty good. Uh, we just got to finish. You know, that just come with, you know, just keep practicing. We all got to trust each other. We're going to get there. Though. Pat Narduzzi talked about how, you know, it wasn't huge mistakes, but it was lots of little mistakes that kept adding up for you guys. What kind of work do you guys have to focus on the details to take the next step? Uh, it just made me like when we get tired, uh, you know, sometimes people might want to take a playoff, you know. It was really just a lot of flags, like false starts, mm -hmm. just a little mistakes, you know. We fixed that. We're we going to be good. I mean, you, you've been in this offense before. With, with the tempo and the way it, it operates, does it take some time to, to get really clean with it, to be able to move sort of crisp with it? Yeah, it, it does. Uh, but, you know, we just all just got to keep putting that work in, trust everybody, you know. That's what it really comes to, with trusting. I feel like by the end of the end of fall camp, we're we definitely going to be there where we should be. With, with you being in this offense, when, when something doesn't go right, especially in the scrimmages, is it easier for you to see where the, the guys have gone wrong more than the guys that have been here at Pitt? Uh, mainly, a lot of the times, you know, for me being in this offense, a lot, I feel like a lot of times when we go wrong, it's really just the little mistakes, the little details we messed up on. Uh, you know, our defense, they was blitzing us a lot. That was something new they really did uh, coming into on Saturday. Uh, we just got to fix the little stuff. Is that something you think comes along with, like, actually like putting a game plan together for an opponent and things like that? Can you repeat that, please? Uh, is that something you think comes along with, like, actually game planning for an opponent? And everything yeah, like yeah, it's a lot of game planning, you know. Uh, you, know uh, you know, during the season, game we're going to start game planning, so we're really going to know it what our uh, team's going to be doing. Uh, and yeah, we just, we're going to be good. Right now, for sure, we're going to be good. Did this offense have the same kind of early problems last year that you're having now? Yeah, we, we, we did, uh, especially especially in the spring. Spring, we was it was bad in the spring. Fall camp, we started off slow, but towards the end of the fall camp, we was where we were supposed to be. So that's why I'm not really worried about what happened, you know, because I know at the end of, end of fall camp, we're going to be where we're supposed to be at. How have you seen Nate handle, handle the offense? You've seen other quarterbacks work in it. Where you, how have you seen Nate take it on and try to adapt to it? Nate, just a, he's just a leader. You know, when he messes up on the play, he keeps his head up. He uh, just talks to us. We talk to him. So he, he's a leader. So that's one thing about it. He never quits. When he messes up, he takes accountability. So that's a good thing about Nate. You said there was a, more blitzing from the defense on Saturday. Did you have any particularly memorable collisions with guys on, on blitz pickup? Uh, uh, me specifically, no. Uh, but like the old line kind of got a little confused with us about some of the stuff. Uh, cause they was they was blitzing a lot of people. They was blitzing like eight people on Saturday. But uh, you know, I feel like I mean that was really their first time doing that against us since spring. So I feel like once we we seen it already, if they come trying to do it again on Sunday, we'll be ready for it. Blitzing. That's, that's the key thing, you know, we try to get one-on-one -on -one matchups. And when you blitz, that's when you really get them one-on-one -on -one matchups. What, what looks more, makes Kate Bell an offensive coordinator with the reputation of getting guys open? Is that, how is he, how is he getting, getting guys open so easily when he's in the past? I mean, it really depends on the player. Uh, like, we got some players that's just good at certain stuff. Uh, we, we got a fast, if we got a fast receiver, you know, we're going to go try to go deep with him, you know. Uh, quick receiver, try to uh, get them in space, one-on-one -on -one matchup, short routes, you know, so it all just depends on who's out there. How's the offensive line dealing with the offense? They're coming along um, real good, uh, you know, it's just a focus thing. I feel like Saturday, uh, Saturday we just we really we just wasn't focused, that's all it was. So we get focused, we'll be good. Where do you fit in with the running back room as far as, you know, how they're using you, Versus, you know, you guys got a pretty diverse room of talent. I mean, sure, we just all, everybody just getting a lot of reps, you know. It's not really no, oh, he's going to be playing a lot this this down or no. We just all, everybody getting a lot of reps. So we don't really know how game day going to be or how many reps all that going to be. Everybody just getting a lot of reps. We just really trying to see what everybody can do today. You know, you've been kind of like the leading voice of the room, you know, as people try to figure out this offense, or has Rodney been because he's been here the longest? Uh. Rod, he talks about like stuff like when it comes to like stuff he's seen like in the game, but like when it comes to like plays and stuff, I'm the one that really talks to them about that. But you know, DC, uh, Rod, them the ones that really talk about you know about especially about the stuff when they should, when they've been here in the game. You know, they really talk about that stuff. But 
So all together with me, all of us really, it's no really, it's not really a leader in our group. I mean, it's a leader, but all of us, all of us really talk. So, you know. When you guys are determining reps, like in a game, like a situation like a scrimmage, is it okay who's saying, oh, we need Desmond in this play, Rodney, or is it the opposition coach? Nah, it, it, yeah, it's really opposition coach. He just, you know, from now on, he'll put somebody else in. There's really no, he get a lot of reps here, he get a lot of reps. We, we all just getting reps. That's all it's about. You want everybody to be comfortable with the system. Are there plays specifically where, like, this is one that Desmond needs to run it? He fits what we want to do on this play better than maybe for the game or a lot of years. I mean, the only time he'll really do that, like, if it's a new play, uh, like, sometimes he'll come up with a new play on the field, and I'm probably the only person, I'm the only runner that ever really know that play, so he had to come in and run it. Other than that, you know, it's really not none of that. How much of the offense is, is things that you experience in much of your life? How much of it is something you never experienced? It's totally new. Uh, so yeah, he, he changed a couple of stuff up. Uh, he changed a couple of stuff up, like after spring. Uh, so, lot, some of the stuff is kind of new to me, but uh, we all like all the running backs. We coming along real good about. It. We talk about it all the time. We go over installs after after meetings and stuff. We all get together and talk about the installs. So we all just we all good when it comes to the play, especially when something new comes in. Do you see yourself being a big part of the passing game? Uh, I feel like, sure, whoever's in there is going to be good in the pass game and the run game. So I feel like I'm going to be good in the pass and the run game. We're all going to be good in the pass and the run game. Whoever's in there is going to be good in the pass and the run game. There's always traditional routes for running backs out of the backfield, but how much does this offense demand you to know the routes like a receiver, like if you're asked to line up in the slot and you're going to run, a, you, have, you have to figure out a certain way to get open versus you know a Texas route out of the backfield? Uh, you know, it really just it come really comes with practice. You know, we practice it a lot, so uh, we get different looks, especially on routes on air. Uh, our running back coach, Coach L, he, he do uh, good with us, like just working on stuff, the different zones, man. So we practice it a lot. So by the time we get to the game or we come to the scrimmage, we, we already be knowing what we what we gonna get, what we should do when we get what we get. You uh, <clears throat> you played with Bobby Williams two years ago at Western Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, what what do you remember standing out to you about him back then? And Oh, one thing, one thing about he's a dog. You know, when I when I came in, I don't think every game I play, I don't think he came out the game not once. So that's one thing about him. He's a dog. He wants to win. And, you know, that's that's what you need on the team. You need you need people that want to win, and you know that that's gonna take you far. So I feel like that's what the whole offense. Offense. You know, last year we went three and nine. Uh, we had to, we got to change it up. You know, we we trying to come here and win. So we we definitely gonna. I feel like we definitely gonna be there though. We definitely we definitely gonna be winning this year. Anything else?